Hello, my name is Maria Miller from MathMammoth.com. In this video, we're going to study comparisons with percent. And that basically means that the question is asking how many percent more, or how many percent less, or how many percent heavier, or taller, or smaller, something is than something else. Okay? There should be, in your problem, there should be two quantities given, and then you're comparing how many percent more, or less, whatever. And they always solve the same way. You have to first find the actual difference between the two quantities. And then you divide that by your reference quantity, whatever quantity it is, is compared to. Okay? Examples will make this clear. Let's say we have two loaves of bread. A loaf of bread weighs 660 grams and another weighs 800 grams. And now you're com we are comparing those two how many percent heavier is the second one than the first? Now here, our reference bread is the first one. And you can see it from the wording. We are comparing to the first one. It is after the word than. Okay? It is as if the first bread was this one, was there first, and that the second one arrives on the scene, and then we are thinking about, you know, we are looking at this heavier bread and comparing it to the first bread, this one. So, we look at the difference in the weights first, which is 140 grams, and divide that by the reference weight, which is the first bread, 660 grams. This is a fraction, but we will just write it as a decimal and then as a percent. First of all, these grams will cancel, and the zeros so I get 14 over 66, which I can cancel again to, or simplify to 7 over 33. Now this fraction won't simplify. You will then use a calculator or divide using long division to get the decimal number. And I did that and I got 0 0.2121 and it repeats the 2121. So now I'll round it to about 21%. So the heavier bread is about 21% heavier than the first one. Here we have two classes of students and they took a quiz or test. And in class one, the average was 80 points. In class two, the average was 76 points. And now we ask, how many percent worse did class two as compared to class one? And I hope you can see that the reference class is class one. We will simply find the difference and then compare it or divide it by the reference. So the difference between the point counts is 4 and our reference is the class 1's average which is 80. That's easy, right? Now this fraction simplifies to 1 over 20, 1 twentieth part, okay? And uh, you can write it as an equivalent fraction with denominator 100 quite easily. You go times 5 to get 5 over 100, which is 5 percent. Now, if the question was the other way, if it switched class 1 and class 2, you have to be careful of that, and here was better, it could do that, then you just have to be careful. How many percent better did class 1 than class 2? Then all the changes is your reference number here, it will change to 76, okay? So just very carefully look which one it is compari comparing to. What's your reference class? In my last example, we have a meal, $40, and 50, meal two, $50. Let's ask how many percent more expensive is meal two than meal one? Again, the difference is just $10. And we are comparing, is our word than, after the word than is meal one. We are comparing to meal one, $40. And this is, of course, the fraction one-fourth, which is 25%. It's 25% more expensive. But let's say I switch the problem and I ask how many percent um, cheaper is meal one than meal two? You can imagine that maybe meal two was there first, and then meal one came along, which is a cheaper meal. So we're asking how many percent cheaper is this meal one as compared to meal two? Again, the difference is ten, ten dollars. But now our reference would be the meal two, fifty dollars. 
and we will get one fifth, which is 20%. Okay, so you can see it does make a difference which one you are comparing to. Hope this helps. <laughs>